Hello guys and uh, here I'm gonna be talking about how to bend a 279E and as we see over here I'm um, in a 277 so basically you can go through a 279E with any tank that has 340 bend and more and of course you need the caliber more than 120. Uh, with both of these you can go through the upper hole without any problems at the right angle with the right shot you can go with heat AB if you have it as a gold round I don't think you have AB as a gold round most of the tanks but uh, yeah it, it should be fairly easy um, to go through most of the tanks that easy and as we see over here it's green in a 277 in a 5A uh, in a T57 any of these tanks will be green in the upper hole why because you have 340 bend you should be going through it like butter without any problems uh, and, and remember guys a 2790 is slower than a 277 or a 5a and that's where you get your chance to get a shot on him before he does if he gets to his positions then you're probably gonna get hard time shooting him or hard time bending him because they want to get to the position where they have advantage upon you um, of course here is uh, linkage helping me out in the training room we want to do a 1v1 and see who, who wins and uh, yeah it w let's continue with the video and see what happens uh, basically we were wanted to 1v1 so we we said like we're gonna meet at the fountain and here we go first shot I'm scared that he bends me I bounce because it was bad angle it was bad shot for me it shouldn't be like that it should be more in the middle and now we're gonna see where I should shoot him and I shot him in the middle of the plate it was orange but it, sh it should be been more in the left side because this where the angles is easier he's trying to side scrip or angle his tank but I'm shooting him at the closest angle for me and that where the sh where, where the shot is easy to bend again Look where I bend them. The closer angle to me is where I shoot him, not the farther. So because it, it comes as as a circle. I have a circle. His, his whole armor is half a circle. So if I shoot him in the right side, it's gonna be impossible to bend. But if I shoot him in the right left side, it's an easy bend. I'll bend him 100%. Again, I shot him in the middle because I'm scared for him to shoot me. He has more HP, so I wanted to have advantage on him. I tried to go for a different angle, shoot him, I bend. Simple. Here we go again. Let's see. We're both sitting at 800. I'm sitting at 800, he's sitting at 900. He bounces off. He leaves his sides because he's slow. He can't turn that fast as me. I shoot him. Ben, I have advantage on him right now. Keeps going. He tries to shoot me from between. He can't. I'm hiding. I know I have that advantage, so I'm rushing him. That's pretty much over for 790. I don't waste my shot. I wait until I get to his side. Boom. He's dead. And that's how you bend a 2790. It's easy. It's not hard. Um, you can go through him with pretty much most of the tier 10s unless you have less than 340 bent um, you're gonna have a hard time with them uh, this should be mostly known for all the players because it's it's uh, it's not a hard thing to do here we're gonna see uh, the 2790 armor um, values so basically this is 2790 He's looking down you face to face. And this is the gun of the 2790. So basically a 2790 against 2790, they're going to have a hard time against each other unless they get some height against each other. Um, but let's compare it with a different gun. For instance, let's go with 5A. 5A heat rounds. Let's compare. Here we go. It's green. You have 65%, up to 75% chance to go through this armor. If he's angled like this, you have 76. 
degrees angled like this, you have 81% up here. So basically, it's it's not that hard. Uh, of course, you have to avoid the armor on the turret and things because it's hard to shoot these things up here. Uh, let's look at it live. Okay, so here is the tank. I don't think you want to go through these things. It's really hard to shoot and they're very small. Um, basically, you want to go through this over here or he's if he's angled like this you want to go through this uh if he's if he gets this armor over here you need to shoot him up here because as you see the hole is is a little bit weird where um this is all tracks like there's no hole down here it's all tracks so you want to go through this it's, it's a big chunk of hole over here um probably uh, I, I think i think the driver over here is sleeping he's not sitting uh, i don't know how <laughs> how this tank is made but it's it's weird and uh yeah it's i don't think it can get burst inside that but whatever it's not a topic um yeah with heat rounds these things can go through this easily if you have a hide on him you can go if you're face hugging and you have looking down over here you have 77 percent of course it's not a lot remember guys this is an overpowered tank but still it's it's good 77 is probably from every five shots you're gonna bounce one so it's it's not really that bad um now we're gonna go for the video and look how uh second video and look how this goes and here is another video of us fighting in a different map because the last map was the same uh surface or same height so he didn't have adventure on me so we thought you know why not just try it over here when he has advantage and he has a hill and he's sitting up there um so basically again linkage is sitting up on the hill he has advantage on me um he has the angle he has everything i can't ban him from down here it's literally impossible it's wasteful to shoot him from down here i try to go to spot him i'm not spotting him he spots me um Again, this is a 1v1 guy, so it's it's not basically what's going to happen in the battle. But most of the time in Clan Wars, you're going to see they put the Su-790 in a position where it's impossible to bend. It's, he's on the surface or he's sitting up on the ridge somewhere, and uh, it's really hard to bend him. I tried to go to Scoopolo without aiming, and uh, of course I missed. Um, Again, I tried to go for him, but this time I'm loading HE rounds because I'm 100% sure it's impossible to go through him. Um, try to shoot him again with HE rounds. So I miss it for some odd reason, even though I had to aim on him. Again, it's it's impossible to go through him when he's sitting up there, and I don't want to lose HP while I'm going up there. So he starts backing up. He wants me to go up there. Um, let's forward a little bit. I try to take a different route so he doesn't see me while I'm going up. He spots me. I know who's gonna shoot me. And, uh, yep, he comes down here and that's his fault. That's a big fault he did over here when he came down to me. He w his armor is 90 degrees for me so I can go through him without any problem. Now, right here, I'm not on a flat surface. So I'm trying to go higher than him, take some height on him so I can have an angle where it's 90 degrees to bend him. And now it's easy for me to bend him. I have a lot of advantages up here. So I keep shooting him. Again, look at this, guys. Let's, let's take a look. Look, I'm higher than him. I can go through his armor looking down at him. That's about 80, 70 degrees, I think. Yeah, yeah. With my gun depression, it's it's about 80, 70 maybe, and that's that's how I tried to get him, and he fell into it. Um, again, 2790 is not a big problem for a 277 or a 5A or a T7. Uh, this is two battles we did that day, and uh, it was fun. He tried running for me, but it was too late for him, and yeah, he's probably gonna die. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's uh, how you take a 2790 out of the game with the 277. So, basically, if you're in one of these tanks, you should 
take him without any problems. Uh, again, thank you, Linkage, for uh, joining us in this training room. Uh, and uh, hopefully you guys learned something from this video.